What's up guys, my name is Ace, and welcome back to Maps Exposed. This is the series where I go over all of the lines of sight, jump spots, as well as most common spawn locations on every map in Modern Warfare. In today's episode, we're going to be moving on to St. Petrograd. And first up, I want to start it off by the Sea Domination flag. There's a bunch of great little spots I have for you. Back in this area here, you can often get spawn trapped. So a few things that you can do as you're coming out of your spawn is you can jump up on the bench, and that allows you to see a little bit if they happen to be hanging out back in that area there, trying to just pick you off as you run out of spawn. Also, for those of you that didn't know, you can jump up on these crates here, and this allows you to get onto the rooftop, which gives you a much better way of getting out of spawn safely. And another thing I wanted to point out that's not so much related to being spawn trapped back there, but this is great for like an opening pick, for instance. If somebody's on that position right there, which is quite common, what you can do is from all the way back in this area here, it's kind of a crazy line of sight. You can just jump onto this area here from this, jump onto the wall, strafe to the right so that you're not in the warning area. And there you go. Perfect line of sight on those people. They're not going to be looking back this far, and you can easily pick them off if you have like a sniper rifle, for instance. They'll have no clue what hit them. Now, on the other end of that area, if you want to attack people that are back in that area, sometimes they'll just camp in the back of their spawn. Something you can do is hop up on the ambulance right here and use this to your advantage to attack them. They don't normally see this one coming because they're just looking in this area here as well as this area. Next up, just in case you weren't aware, you can get on top of the market thingy here, just hopping onto the trash can, and there you go, up onto this area. Lots of times, snipers will sit back here and camp. It's not really the greatest spot. I just wanted to point out that you can get up there. Now, getting over to the street side over here, one thing you can do is hop up on the ambulance, and this is the best way to get a line of sight on people that are over in that area, rather than trying to peek around the side, which is what I see most people trying to do. You get far better cover if you come on top of the ambulance like this. Also, with this lion statue here, if you hop on the bench, it gives you a great line of sight into the doorway there, or you get a nice line of sight up to the window. Pretty straightforward sort of lines of sight. Works both ways. So if you want to challenge people over there, instead of peeking around the side, once again, just hop up on the park bench here, and then you can peek over the top like that. Now, this one's probably pretty obvious, but since it is Christmas time and there might be some Christmas noobs watching this video, you can jump up into the window this way very, very easily. And from the other side, you can easily jump across. This is all super, super straightforward stuff, but it's a great way to get up into those areas. Next is a much more complicated jump that I think a lot of you guys will be surprised to see. This one does require a little bit of practice, but if you can get on top of this area here, you can jump from the table or from this area. You can actually make the jump to this window, but you have to kind of aim for the edge of this sign. You kind of bounce off the sign in order to get up into the window. Once you practice it a little bit, I would recommend trying it in custom games. Once you get a little bit of practice in, you should be able to hit this jump almost every single time, but it will take you quite a few attempts to get that for the first time. It took me quite a while to nail it, but once you do, it's actually not that bad. Now, the next little line of sight I have only works if these doors are open this way. If they're open outwards like this and you have somebody camping on the bar there, which will happen in a lot of situations, what you can do is jump up on top of this sign right here and look at that line of sight. They can barely see you through there. You've got a great angle on them and you can easily pick them off. It's a great line of sight. Now getting over here, I just wanted to point out that these areas are open up top here and you can use this as a quick check spot just by jumping up like this. Unfortunately, you can't quite get a line of sight. You might be able to get like a jump spot with a sniper, but the main thing is using this as a check spot or using it to throw like stun grenades, for instance. So you can toss one through there if somebody's camping in there, wait till it goes off and then you can come around and challenge them. Now getting back to this area here, this one is super situational, not really the most practical spot, but I did want to point out that from this corner right here, you can actually jump on top of this. It's not the most useful spot to be, like I said, but there just might be a situation. Maybe somebody's chasing you around this corner and you just want to juke them out. You can hop up like this and then pick them off as they come around the corner trying to chase you. Now getting over in this area here, a lot of people will use the trash can to jump on this and then jump on this and then either walk across or jump across like that to get in this window. Just a little alternative if you are on the ground here, you can actually do the same thing from right here. So you don't have to go all the way onto that trash can. You can just jump on this small one right here, jump up like this, and there you go. Gets you up to the window just a little bit faster. Now, just an alternative to getting into that window there. Maybe they've got a claymore and you've got the spotter perk and you just know they're watching that window. A little alternative for you is you can just jump on the train like this and then jump up into this window right here. They don't normally expect you to be coming through that one. Kind of a similar story over here. If you have enemies that maybe have a claymore on this window or you know they're watching that window but you get yourself over into this area here and you're safe from their line of sight, you can easily jump into this window right here. And again, it's just something that they don't normally see coming. 
Next thing I wanted to point out is there's just several ways to get into the second story of this building. Most of them are very obvious, but again, I want to be extra thorough with this one just because it's right around Christmas time. You can jump on that car to get in. Obviously, you can jump on the van right here to jump up into that area like that. You can also even jump from this area right here up to the wall and try not to mantle right over it like I just did. But if you mantle up onto the wall, then from here you can jump across pretty straightforward. Now getting back to the bar area here, just in case you didn't know, you can hop up on the car and hop up onto the roof like this. Lots of people love sitting up here using this line of sight. But with this one, instead of head glitching the sign up like this, what you can do is drop down to this area right here. And that just gives you much more control over what you're exposing to yourself for enemies that are coming through that choke point right there. Now, if you want to get onto the bar from this side, a lot of people, for some reason, don't expect this at all. I, I think there's still a bunch of people that didn't know that you can do this, but you can easily jump on top of the roof like this as well. And finally, for jump spots in the back alley area over here, I just wanted to point out you can easily get up in those windows. Maybe somebody has like a claymore or something set up in the stairway, or you just want an alternative route. All you have to do is jump up on the van like this, jump across to the crates, and there you go. You're up in the window. And with that, that pretty much wraps it up for all of the unique or important spots that I wanted to show you guys on this map. However, with the series, like I said at the beginning, we also cover spawn points. So let's get into the different spawn points on this map. Keeping in mind that this mainly applies to the domination game mode, although most of these spawn points will carry over to other modes as well. And first up, let's have a look at the primary spawns. These are the ones that you tend to find most often in domination whenever there isn't much pressure put on the spawn points. And as you can see, each side of the map has three different spawn points, and none of them are really all that surprising. This is pretty much exactly where you'd expect to spawn for anybody that's played Domination on this map, even just a little bit. As for the secondary spawn points, this is actually a very common secondary spawn area. This is something you really have to look out for on St. Petrograd, because if you're not looking out for that secondary spawn, it will take you off guard in a lot of situations. It's actually quite easy to end up pushing the enemy team spawn over in that spot. So if you notice you or your teammates are putting a bit of pressure on the primary spawn areas, the first thing you want to do is start looking to that back alley area, because that's most likely where they're going to spawn next. Now on top of that, we also have just a bunch of other spawn points that I mapped out as I was doing my spawn testing. These are ones that don't really happen all that often, but I did want to point them out just so that you're aware that they do exist and they will happen in some situations. But with that, that pretty much covers it for today's quick episode of Maps Exposed on St. Petrograd. As for my thoughts on this map, personally, I really like the layout of the map. However, I feel like something's a little bit off with it. It might be due to spawn logic or just something is a little bit off and it doesn't play as good as I think it could play, but I can't quite put my finger on it. When I'm in a lobby where it seems like both teams really want to push and be aggressive, I think this map plays really well. However, there's a lot of situations where I just find enemies sitting in the back of their spawn or camping in some weird area of the map that completely destroys the entire flow of the map. But anyway, that's just my opinion of this map. I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about St. Petrograd? Also, if you guys have missed any of the previous episodes to the Maps Exposed series, I've covered many of the maps already. I will leave a link to the playlist down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.